Daar is hij zo vlug mee, hè? Binnen voor de wiel. Ja, dat was een beetje dom, hè? Daarin gaan. Wil die fucking jump, hè? Het killt zoveel mensen van ons.
koskaan tällä hetkellä. Wat is dit voor een gevecht, jongens? Echt waar. Waarom is de DPS op de basis aan het volgen? Heel groot verband met die Rex. Eerste PvE effect wat, uh, wat ik ooit zou verliezen. Een pokkige weg was dat. Jezus. Behold, 
best exo fighters in this war game. <laughs> Ja. Nou, weer een tank klaar. Incoming transmission. It appears you can't trust anything nowadays. Durban, this is not what you think it is. Shut up, science. You have to understand. You've already lost. I am in control. Allow me to demonstrate. Leviathan. Hey. What? Ah! Come over here and try that. No. I think you're going to come to me. You see, you have half the data, and I have half. So when you feel up to fighting, you know where I'll be. Wait, wait! Bonjour, we've said the half of the data. Let's settle this. You and me. Well, what do you say? No. I hate that guy. I'm going to need the half of the data. Short of traveling back to 2040. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Energy to bay. Can it shut Ik denk, weet je, oh ja, ik ga een gevlekken, zie ik. Dan zijn we hier vol. Oh, de Black Guardian, oké. Okay. In ieder geval, als we neerzetten. Ja, 
Hier is even naar de wc. Gaan we daarna even 10, 15 battles zetten we op. Hallo, ik ben Sandy, je IVS support android. You. Nah. Good matchmaking. You know the what? Welcome to my research facility. You showed great potential during your previous outing in the dam area. All servants awaiting further applicable statistics. I shall withdraw for now. A skilled pilot in an Imbus suit can swap modes to dish out damage and repairs. Interdimensional transfer complete. The war game will begin shortly. Have a super day. You will now engage in a dinosaur combat test. Exo fighters, follow the watcher. In the direction of the reservoir, you can observe a floodgate under construction. Friends mission interrupted. Initiating dinosaur college. Preparing combat area. Please wait. I'm gonna take my action. Charging systems. 
Ze is op dit moment te redden. Follow the watcher. Proceed to next mission. Initiating dinosaur call mission. Preparing combat. Ja, dat hangt een dino. Nou, we hebben honderd in één keer zoveel gedaan. Ik ben net bij achterhoofd uh, met de X. Well, dinosaur call. You are completing objectives faster than you. Initiate VTOL defense mission. Preparing combat area. Summoning Ankylosaurus. Summoning Raptors. Biometrics may peak as their wings block out the light. Prepare to eliminate this disturbance. Dinosaurs are attacking the 
Oh, we zijn gefaald. Ah ja, dan ben ik sowieso. Huh. Wauw, waar? The fuck, jongens. Initiating Tyrannodon Swarm. Direct your attention downstream. Notice as the swarm enters the same celestial coordinates as the sun. Your biometrics may peak as their wings block out the light. Prepare to eliminate this disturbance. The enemy team has progressed to the final mission. Oh, the practical. To close the performance gap. Oh, I feel dizzy. Tangook, what the hell? Verliezen, want is... ik heb weer een team wat niet snapt hoe de game werkt. Zeg maar. Summon 
Oh, we got here. Oh. Eh? Nou, je moet mensen het in een domme kop krijgen dat ze kunnen winnen met drie tanks in een team. Okay, just hold that steady while I fasten the cover, and this bird is ready to fly. Oof, it's very heavy. Good thing I'm healing. Did I ever tell you about the time I nearly died over the Baird Sea? Yeah, it's now the time. Just, just bear with me. So there we were, long haul cargo run to Murmansk, flying through an Arctic storm. Getting to point, please. Suddenly, the right engine loses thrust. Then the left. They're cycling, but there's no power. We're losing altitude, dipping the nose to keep ourselves out of a storm. <laughs> the Arctic Ocean's starting to get real big in that windshield. And we're trying everything to get those engines firing. Yes, I'm with you. Very good. That's when I realized it was so cold, there was ice forming on the fuel filters, blocking the flow. The engines were stopping. Mm. And so you fix and save the day all done. Hmm, that's when I remember the APU. Anyone? Yes? Soldiers? That's right. The auxiliary power unit. I fired her up and let her overheat. Could have blown up at any sick, but it was warm in the fuel, melted ice. We're down to 500 feet when suddenly, wham, the engines come back to life. I can smell the APU cooking from the cockpit, but we made it back in one piece. Okay, you can let go. <sighs> I'm glad you survived, Chief, but what is point? Mm, the point is, a jet like this is a machine full of machines. It's got redundancies built in. Draw speeds, backups, manual reversion, you name it. There's always something you can use to get the job done. Now, we want to jump the carrier back to 2040, but we need more power. I have an idea. I have the carrier. Complete. Oh, Chief, what's all this? This is our way to Leviathan. We want to go to 2040. Not enough power. We want to help my sister make her Lozar plan work. Not enough power. As much as I hate to admit he's right, it's like sign said. We needed that revolution cylinder. But Durban stole the data, and we couldn't fabricate one here anyway, which meant we were out of luck. Unless we use a substitute. The transmission cable linked to the carrier's generator drive shaft. Right. The problem with this little vortexer is not enough torque. It can't spin fast enough to generate the kind of vortex we need. So Chief linked it up to military grade jet engine shaft. <laughs> I always knew this bird would get us off the island. What I didn't know was I'd have to turn her into a time machine to do it. 
Maar dan is er een vliegt. Sandy, is dit really going to get us back to 2040? Based on the firmware update we received from Dr. Garrett Sines, we have ample power to travel back to 2040 and confront Leviathan. And hopefully not back to Middle Ages like Bigatoa. You mean you don't want to be a goddess during the Inquisition? <laughs> you tell joke, but where is Lif? I have records of the vortexes that transport Ace to the war game in 2040. We can follow Leviathan's example. Not comforting. And as for destabilizing Hydro, we did a little test. Look at this. Baboom. Lozel. Running this thing in reverse really works. We're going to take off, jump the carrier back to 2040, fly to the Leviathan's core platform, and turn Leviathan's fuel tanks into a ticking time bomb. There's just a matter of Durban. Who knows we're coming, by the way. But Ace will be ready to take care of that. Oh, yeah, so you're all this sounds ridiculously dangerous. Not that I'm backing out of it. But let me finish up here. Then we'll talk. Now know more about this island than anyone else on Earth. A multiple timeline color code. Yeah, that's pretty simple when you have all the pieces. Well, simple is a relative term, of course. Look, look, this is what started it all. The Origin Suit's pilot, Yannick Nadi, tries to go back in time and prevent his future by destroying Leviathan, but ends up hurled back to the Cretaceous period. That's the first change in the timeline. Nadi dies, and his exosuit stays buried for millions of years. Ibius finds the exosuit and the futuristic technology. It blows their minds. They reverse engineer it, and they realize they've got their hands on an energy revolution. Heisel. And because they are greedy, unscrupulous bastards, they build a world full of Stratovators, all golden goose equipped, to drill into the past and break down space time. Overseen by an unprecedented AI developed from Origin Suit Tech, which was exactly the world Nadi wanted to prevent. Which cues up future past you. Future past you goes back to prevent Ibius from getting Golden Goose, and thus the second alteration of the island's history occurs and the timeline changes again. The entire Picatoan culture comes from future you going too far back in time and being mistaken for a goddess. Then, we have a lull in the time travel antics with not much happening until 2020, but 2020 hits. And wham! Ibius finds the origin suit, and the entire cycle begins again. And so we come to August 16th, 2040. Ibius gives Leviathan full control of the Stratovator's Golden Goose Array, with nobody realizing it is obsessed with developing exosuits. Next thing we know, dinosaurs are raining from the sky all over island. Leviathan makes itself perfect exosuit testing ground. Right. So, Haruka tries to destroy Leviathan, but she can't, because she can't create enough Lozol to do the job. She's got Yannick Nadi on her side, or some echo of him that's still bouncing around the IBA systems, but somehow, somehow Leviathan catches on to what they're doing. Surprise, surprise, machine programmed by amoral maniacs is amoral maniac. Leviathan purges all the Lozal off the Stradivator control platform, which explodes and sends the cable crashing down on the island. The Bigator incident. Dr. Garrett Sines escapes alive, but Golden Goose is lost in the wreckage. Ibius stands to lose their Hyzal energy revolution. And in the meantime, Leviathan still running war games on the island. Repeating the Bigator incident day after day, time after time. All while space time distortions and dinosaurs become a damn pandemic and innocent people all over the world pay the price. Ibis creates problem and then sells world the solution. They form exo fighter squads and we crash on the island and Leviathan gets ace as a new plaything for the war game. Magnum, Durbin, Dr. Sines, and God knows how many others all arrive on the same way in their own separate timelines. Now Magnum thought he'd found a way out when he got part of Golden Goose. 
But that only made him a target for Durbin. And we were next. Little did we know we were up against the most deadly foe of all. Me. With two arms. You forgot part about them being disgusting grave robbers, using corpse to do dirty work. Zombies. Ugh. Anchor Division, Haruka, Golden Goose, and... Uh, zombies. All of it. All of it. It's all there. What I don't understand... What's this thing's motive? Huh? How does an AI become obsessed? Dinosaurs. Self-preservation. There's no way for a computer to behave. Well, I think we've all seen just how little it takes for a really good AI to develop into something more. Compliment acknowledged. Oh, so much history. All of it leading to us. Right here, right now. I mean, you could almost call it fate. And look at us. Haruka's brother. Durbin's doppelganger. The goddess of Bikatoa herself. And Ace, the best exo fighter in the fleet. Second best. Yes, right. Sorry, Madge. The, the point is, out of thousands of exo fighter crews out there, it's come down to us. Mm, but the chart is missing one thing. What's that, Chief? We're about to be the most important thing that ever happened on this island. Sandy. Understood. <laughs> <laughs> Twee video log. Dingen die je krijgt daarna dan te zien. Eigenlijk. Beetje gelukt, nog één match. Welcome to my research facility. I am measuring good results in the ruins area. Industry-leading exosuit development relies on this high-quality data. out damage and repairs. Let us begin. I will transfer you to the combat mm -hmm. zone. Prepare for battle. Interdimensional transfer complete. The war game will begin shortly. Have a super day. You will now engage in a dinosaur combat test. Exo fighters, follow the watcher. 
Initiating dinosaur call mission. Preparing combat area. Please wait. Summon Raptor. Summon Raptors. Dinosaur Call. You are completing objectives faster than the enemy team. Follow the Watcher. Proceed to next mission. Initiating dinosaur call. Preparing combat. Please wait. Summon Sinodentosaurus. Summon Dilophosaurus. Summon Sinodentosaurus. Dinosaur call. You are completing objectives faster than the enemy team. Follow the Watcher. Proceed to next mission. Initiating dinosaur call mission. Preparing combat area. Please wait. Summoning Pachycephalosaurus. Summoning Sinonithosaurus. Dinosaur call. You are completing objectives faster than the enemy team. There are ruins located near the summit of the mountain. The British Navy arrived at Vikitoa in 1782. Contemporary ship's logs refer to it as the Isle of Monsters. Transmission interrupted. Initiating dinosaur call mission. Preparing combat area. Please wait. Summoning a Carnotaurus. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, Summoning Dilophosaurus. Summoning Sucumimus. Summoning Sinonithosaurus. Want ik was weer een DPS kwijt, die was weer ergens wenen en zo. een stuk doorgaan en je zult toch een beetje met killen want anders hadden wij het nooit. Ik heb mij nou een niet te rezen, denk. tank. Hm. Ding doen.
Att han har åkat något. Thank you for using me out of the park here and car me a thing for himself stand. Most of what? Je kunt wel een symbooltje doen dat je een heel nodig hebt, maar ik ben gewoon dood, sukkel. Gewoon schiet, een paar rondjes rent. Jongens, 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 jongens. Ik kan zeggen, als jullie wachten op een fucking res, hoe wil ik dat doen? Uh... 
En een draait daar. Een potbode daar weer. GG gebruikt en zo.